name's Ted Hardy. Uh, pretty much run this shit here at your life insurance company. Yeah, this place used to be pretty, pretty competitive in the uh, life insurance ring, but uh, since then, it's kind of gone to the shit. Oh my god! Living the dream, man! Living the fucking dream! Martin! I see you still got that sweet ass! Come on, come on! Anyways, come on. You gotta. This is Janice. Your biggest asshole I've ever met. Yeah, blue stupid poker, full pantsuit. It's ridiculous. And he's got that stupid shitting and grin on his face. Oh, fucking LaDouche. No good for nothing. Kiss my dick tip, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, I know exactly who it was. That goddamn midnight janitor. Alright. Listen up, shitheads. Presentations are due tomorrow at 3.30. Hold on, I'll call you back. In the conference room, if you're not there, you're gonna be fired, but regardless, someone's getting fired. Alright, what? What the fuck do you have? Alright, well... I'm not one for making excuses, but I had a very well drawn out report. It was fantastic, top of the line. And then this morning, this morning I opened it up. And I gotta tell you, it was that goddamn midnight janitor. You're really gonna blame us on the janitor. It was the janitor! We don't have a midnight janitor, Mike! Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. My father! Benjamin Hardy started this little insurance company about 20 years ago, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't really remember. But you know what? I don't even fucking want it anymore. I'm gonna go do more coke in my office, and then I'm fucking out of here. Peace, bitches. You're quitting? Yeah. Are you, you're quitting? Who the hell's gonna run the fucking company, Ted? Listen to me, uh, I really appreciate your business. This is just coming from the bottom of my heart, man. And uh, I just want to let you know that if you have any questions at all, you just give me a call. You have my card. And 24-7, uh, that's right, yeah, no matter what. And uh, except on Christmas, you know you know how we do. You know how we go around here. But okay, just, all right, man. All right, Ricky. All right. All right. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. You hang up. All right. Ah! Man, another one, LaDuke. One you more. are on a roll today. Ugh. I just, ever since we quit drinking, man. We're alcoholics in a hardly functioning company. Everyone's numbers are up. Yeah. Well, wow, two months sober will do that to you. Yeah. I, mean, I can't even think of the last time I shit my pants and I was so drunk. It, well, yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty good. Well, I mean, I, I shit my pants two weeks ago, but I mean, who only puts one bathroom in a White Castle? Every time I think about that place, I peek out a little bit. Mm. Listen, guys, as much as I love to hear your stories of your mundane lives, mundane. you guys are seriously hampering my skills to make sales calls. Mundane. You want to talk about mundane. I called you last week to see if you wanted to go to the game. You know who answered? Your wife. <laughs> Said you were digging her new garden for her. <laughs> <laughs> new garden. At least I have a wife. Ladies, man. Oh, you're so oh. funny, Stapleton. You think so? Thanks. Alright, no. you guys, just please get away from me. Go. I have work to do. So do you. Yeah, me too.
Let's get him. Good morning, everyone. How we doing? Hey, good morning. Good. Good. good, good. I got some good news. The numbers are in real solid and stable. With that being said, though, I have another job and many other clients, so I will not be able to continue as CEO. Shit! What's that about? Bad memories, man. I can't be almost have a job again. My wife will beat me. <laughs> I don't know why you're all laughing. <laughs> all right. The bank has been real proud with your effort in here. With that being said, we'd like to hire from within. I, along with a few of my associates, will be around to interview the four of you. So you're saying it's basically a competition between us? Exactly. A friendly competition. Alright, game on? Alright. Game on. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your old boss Ted's coming back. He just finished his rehab. Alright, have a good day, guys. Thanks, Keith. Wait, what? I thought he died. Well, obviously not. I wonder how that's gonna go. That asshole will ruin the company again. Better not. He won't, newbie. He won't. We have to make sure, no matter what, that he will not get that CEO job and that he will not even have a chance to get a desk here. I like that idea. Yeah, we're gonna make sure he's living in a van and down by the river. That was terrible. Yeah, I mean, I cannot get over how bad your impressions are of Chris Farley. Like, I'm just sensing some jealousy here because, I mean, I know everybody loves my impressions. I mean, like, Randy. Hey, Randy. Yeah. You love my Chris Farley impressions, right? Your yeah, what? My Chris Farley impressions. Like Chris Fryer, you know, like, how am I supposed to win when you never move your back, bro? Yeah, that was great. Yeah, see, you loved it. Oh, no, I didn't. I you know. Anyways, uh, just go sit down. Uh, we'll talk about this hardy thing at lunch, all right, guys? All right. All right. Carrots, huh? Yeah, I feel like I always have carrots, so I brought some ice cream today just to mix it up. You know, I've got... Apple and Christmas packets. I got salt. You know, apple. We have the worst questions. Don't do that. All right, I got something important to talk about. Here's something. What's up? I was making a list while you guys were eating your shitty lunches, and uh, I made a list of all Ted's pet peeves. Because I feel like the people that went to anger management, they just have a breaking point. They can only deal with the stress until so much happens, then they just flip out. Kind of like the Hulk. Exactly. Just like the Hulk. So I, I mean... I'm thinking we just bring up how shitty of a boss that he was and just let him know. I think he's gonna snap. Yeah. You know what we should do? We should bring up the gremlin. Yes, we should. Yeah, yeah He might kill someone if we bring up the gremlin. No, he will kill someone if we bring <laughs> up the gremlin. Yeah. yeah. I think that's, it's gonna work out real well. Yeah. We don't I need him here. I mean, I don't know, guys. Should we really be doing this, though? I mean, we've been doing really well on work. Mike, you made a couple of your sales since last month. No, it'll, it'll probably yeah, it's gonna work. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna, yeah, it's, it's gonna wow. All right, guys. So hands in. Wait, what are we gonna say? One, two, three. Kids. That that was surprisingly really that went well. Good job, guys. All right, guys. Enjoy your shitty lunches. Why? Why take me? Take me! Why her? Why her? So we get the waitress gets to the table. Yeah. And the girl looks at me and she goes for her wallet and looks at me like, oh yeah, you paid for this? Like you're gonna pay for yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Right? I'm all Dutch. What's up, man? Did you Not sleep it last night? Yeah. What's what's wrong? Something wrong? What Bub the hell is this? Bubbles. Um, your your pet dog? No. Oh, my goldfish. Goldfish. Sorry to hear that, man. You know, I, I go to one Tigers game, and Janice just throws it in the trash compactor. I never liked Janice. <sighs> she threw my fish in the trash compactor. I never liked Janice. You wanna go? You wanna go bury it outside? No, I'm not ready. It's starting to smell. It's, no, it it's, I'm not ready. Bit. How long is that thing? I'm not out of ready, guys. Okay, but just. It, it's that fish to smell. taught me a lot. I mean, I gotta work right next to you, and it smells. Yeah. But I'm sorry about your loss, man. I mean, Janice is being a real fickle bitch about this. Taught me how to love, how to feel. How did? Uh... 
Oh, yeah. Damn. I mean, I'm really sorry to hear that, but I got some calls to make. I know. I just I need Beginning time. of the day. I need time. Out with the old, in with the new. Hey, tell you what, we'll get you a nice big old slippery salmon after work, huh? Red lobster, my treat. Oh, too soon? <laughs> too soon? It was too soon. No, sir, that's not what I said. You're just putting words in my mouth. Oh, oh yeah? How would I come over there? I give some to your wife, put in her mouth. How about you? Uh, no, customer satisfaction. Hey, boy, Stapleton. Customer's Good work. always right. That's what we do. You're number one here. We. This is all for you. Listen here, you chick of shit. I know where you sleep, but I know where you live. I'm gonna come over there, shove my nine boot up your ass. No, no, nine's quite average. All right, yeah. Listen to this. You want some of this? Watch this. Watch this. Your grandfather's a prick. He's senile. Well, well, well. Ah, can you chew on my convenience? A sight for sore eyes. Mm. Well, I'm sure most of you are still upset with me about what happened last time, but uh, I can assure you that rehab has changed me. I am a new man now, and I have refound myself through the religion of Buddhism. Mm. Oh yes, everyone, this is my spiritual guide. He does not have a name, for he is a true person of the spirits. You can call him whatever you wish, and he will respond. Nice to meet you, shit rat. How's that for a name? That's fine, I suppose. Uh, he isn't much of a talker either, so... Ah, Ted. So you made it. Ah, Keith, Konnichiwa. How you doing? Uh, how nice. Okay. We don't have any uh, desks available for you here, so we're going to put you in your old office. If you grab your things, and I'll meet you there. Wonderful. I'll go get my belongings. Can't All wait right. to get started. Sounds good. I'll see you gentlemen later. Was that serious? I don't know. I don't trust this guy. Gray, long-haired Buddhist freak! Don't bow to me. Yeah, don't bow to him. Get out of here! I'll hit an old man. Jackass. Who's that guy? Come on in. Gentlemen. Keith, nice Mike. to see you. Good to see you too. Michael Duke. Mike. Oh, how you doing? Good. Michael Duke. Mike as well. Hey! Just look at that. Yeah, just have a seat. I like this guy. I think I like this dude. So, uh, why do you think you deserve this promotion? Promotion? I thought this was for the bake sale for the next week. We ain't have no bake sale. Oh, well, um... <laughs> Well, you get, sure? You sure? It's a pretty good question. The other day, I uh, I rescued a baby tiger, and I nursed it back to health. What, I think I deserve this promotion? Yeah. Because I'm the one going to get the promotion. I think that qualifies me for the job. Because I built this place. Built? Wood everything, chopped everything down, built it. I am this place. Wait, do you have a dip in? No. Why do you think you deserve this promotion? Um, well, I, I think I'm a stand-up guy. Uh, that that Ted guy that was running it earlier really didn't know what he was doing. Some guy came in here with a knife. So, well, what are your strengths? So, what are your strengths? One of my strengths? I can rip this carpet off my bare hands. No, I got a better idea. Um, this will make it a lot quicker for you guys. Uh, what are my weaknesses? No, I said strengths. Kryptonite is my weakness. Well, I don't really plan on getting dad strength until I have a child. Whoa, so. whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean, how much can you lift? I can lay down and lift four plates, man. At least. Like, weight-wise? Yes. Enough to rip this carpet off with my bare hands. At least 250 pounds. Actually, no, fuck it. 260. Damn. 
Let me just let me just say something here. I feel like I'm a good looking guy. Don't you? What exactly does this business mean to you? Nothing. This company means absolutely nothing to you. Well, when I say nothing, I mean everything. I love this company. This company loves me. I make sweet love to this company. This is all I got. If it wasn't for this company, I'd be all over to India making fake beads, selling them half price on the black market. I like to think I got a got a nice nice good looking head on these shoulders, you know, and uh, I feel like I could be a good asset in this company. Yeah. So, uh, have you ever had a DUI in your lifetime? What's a DUI? Driving under the influence. Meth, marijuana, licking toads, super glue on your taint, sniffing paint, or alcohol. Yeah, I have. Hey. Oh. Uh, you know what I was thinking we should do? What's that? We should go into Ted's office and just like mess with his stuff. Yeah, I know what we should do. Rearrange all of it. Yeah, I think that'll really just set him off. Freaking hates it. Yeah. Alright, let's get in there. Let's go. Alright. <clears throat> get real mad. Yeah. Real steam. Real mad. Just real steam. Alright, show. What's up, Ted? Oh, hello. Hey, how's it going? Going well. I'm smoking. Mm. Trying to find a spot to put those flowers. Oh, we'll get them. We'll get Catnip, them. huh? Ooh, look at this. Oh, uh, if you could just put that down, that yeah. cost me oh, a lot oh. of money <laughs> when I got that in Japan. <laughs> it's worthless now. Yeah. Man. You can piece that together, no problem. What's this? That It's a <gasps> samurai swords. Just put it back. We don't need to play with that. Just set that down. Man, this fine. stuff's pretty cool. Oh, that's fine right there. Uh, it's a nice desk. Just please don't adjust the seat. I really want it to be right oh, perfect where it was. Well, it was great right there. No, nah, it's a little better this way. Right so are you getting all situated? Zach, what are you doing? I'm getting in with my inner spirit. What's he feel like? My inner beast. He, like he doesn't like it. He, Probably doesn't like that. Music sound. Conditioner that shit. Hmm. <sighs> well, well, I have a lot of stuff to do here, and I'm sure you guys do as well. So if you wouldn't mind just leaving me and my spirit guide in peace, we're about to uh, do some self meditation. Um, yeah, well, go by. Thanks for breaking that piece of art. No problem, dude. Piece of shit. <sighs> Where were we? Jenner, what are you doing here? Working. Thought you were supposed to be at midnight. I was, they switched me yesterday to uh, daytime. Oh, all right. I'm telling you, communism's not that bad, you know? Everyone's equal. I don't know, man, I kind of see it a different way. But... It works for a while, you know? Yeah. Ooh. Uh-oh. Parking at Ted's spot, huh? Yeah. He, you know, he hates that. That'll rub him the wrong way. I know, I like the way you think, my dude. Let's get in here. Get some coffee in my system. <laughs> I, yeah, I know, it was hilarious, dude. It was hilarious. Janitor? Listen, sorry about all the crap I pulled. It wasn't me, I was in a lot of liquor. Sorry. Got a lot of nerve showing your face around these parts. Just calm down. I'm just asking no, for forgiveness, no. man. Come on. Oh, I'll forgive you. Right after I get through with your wife one last time. You wouldn't? Oh, I would. Uh, Show her what man. it's like to be with a real man. Yeah, yeah you smell pretty. Yeah. yeah. I bet you I do. Oh, yeah? Is that, Is that right? Get the hey, fucking mouth out of your hand. Hey, 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 Fine. See you there. See you okay. there. Funny, funny. Just a lot of big dog talk coming out of that puppy dog ass. Woo 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 woo. <laughs> Heard some ruckus out here. What was all that about?
Uh, Mike shows pants. Is that true, Ladoo? Yes, sir, it is. That's disgusting. I know, I'm a mess right now. Go clean yourself up. You guys get back to work. Yes, sir. Are you kidding me? I poop my pants? That's, That's the best I could think of. Are you... Uh, that is the worst thing. I, nothing else came into your head except for poop my pants. Uh, sadly, yeah. I can't believe that. Like, how am I supposed to be the CEO and be in the running for that? God! Newbie! Don't worry about it, kid. You try to put Xbox in your coffee. Don't forget. Ooh, rich you are, Ken. He's coming right around. He's behind it. Oh, you got it. He's behind me! Ooh, right in the face. All right, respawn. Yep, I know how you feel. Yeah. Pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. That's a nice lunch, Mints. I'm starving. I think it's an upgrade from his other lunches. Mints aren't that good. You know what I'm saying? Friends? Carrots are good. Carrots are gross. Carrots are How are they gross? They're orange. Carrots are bad. I don't think anything orange is gross. Oranges are not gross. What's wrong with anything orange? Do you ever have orange crush? Clementine. Carrots. Those are some lovely mints, though, Mike. Thank you. Orange Sour Patch Kids. Or uh, Alex, what do you uh, seem to be doing with my lunch there? Well, I mean, you know, I, I already <laughs> finished mine. I was still kind of hungry, so I figured I'd just eat yours. That looks disgusting. Looks good. Well, uh, may I? I suppose my food is my friend's food, so have at it. Well, don't think you find that in. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you, don't, you don't like it? Oh my god, look for my hotel. Oh my god. <coughs> it tastes like shit, what is this? That is organic tofu. Yeah, it now is, it's organically uh, going in the trash. Please don't throw that away, I'll still eat it. Oh. You better watch this, Ted. The taste is so lingering in my mouth. Yeah, I can smell it in it. My head, my nose hairs are gone. Yeah, poop out there, food there. I don't know, Spirit Guide. It's like, it's like they're doing anything they can just to grind my gears, you know? And I'm just trying to keep the peace. But if they would have walked in here like they did yesterday, two months ago, I would have kicked their asses right there on the spot. It's like they have a list of my pet peeves and just reading them off one by one. Home. What's okay. next? I think we go for the big one. The gremlin? Yeah, the gremlin. That's a big one. What's uh, the plan? Alright, let's talk about it. Hunter! What? Oh, uh, did you come over here? Yep. Yeah, quick second. Okay. Uh, let me get you. Let me over here. Hello. Hey, newbie. Yeah. Uh, could you come over here for a second? I want to discuss something with you. Holy shnikes! Can you please just get over here? You're you're terrible at those impersonations. Alright. So I think we gotta get going. Yeah, what's the plan? Come on, come on, come on. What's up? Alright, I think we're gonna hit him with the gremlin. Because during the next meeting... It is the biggest one. It is the biggest one. She's sexy. So... She is sexy, remember? Oh, sexy. Like little one pie. piece. Like sweet apple pie. Oh, yeah. man. Well, I must relieve myself. So sorry. It's hot water. <sighs> I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I just. Well, enjoy your day. Oh, I'm so sorry.
buddy. You guys serious? You know I take my daily dumps at 4 p.m. What are you doing in there? Taking a dump. You don't want me to stand up right now. How much longer do you think you're gonna be? A while. A little bit. Oh my god, you guys are just fucking grinding my gears. You're really making me upset. Fuck! Hey! You busy? Uh, no. Well, looks like we got ourselves a double feature. Gonna get myself some R.E. Venge. Hard. Revenge? You can't spell revenge? Yeah, that's right. But I'm gonna get it. Alright, well, we get, let's just get our work done and then we'll get to this little thing later. Go! Hey yo, you niggas must be out your fucking mind. Yo, Thinking dog can't pull another motherfucking yo, rabbit out the hat. Think I ain't gotta trip up my motherfucking speed, you bitch ass nigga. Fuck that thing, nigga. That nigga think I'm doing just sitting around doing nothing. Oh my god, you niggas can't be serious. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my God. 
wife, Mike, you're shit in your pants, and Alex, the DUI devil himself. You do more Chris Farley impressions in this office than you do work. Terrible Chris Farley impressions. Oh, they are awful. Not only are you guys not getting promoted, but you should be fired. We're sorry. Stuff your sorries in a sack, Stapleton. They'll do you no good. Randy? Yes, sir. You're the new CEO. Congratulations. Thank mm -hmm. you. 